What's up guys, welcome back to Planet Coaster. Now last time we left off, this island looked a little bit different. Uh, in fact, it was very plain. Uh, so off camera, like I said, I was going to do some just minor tweaking and boring stuff. I, I got a little carried away. Some of this I probably should have saved for the video. But uh, I added some sand around the corners of the island to make it look a little bit more realistic. I also smoothed some of the corners so it didn't look quite as jaggy. Then obviously I built like this little building, which I absolutely suck at building stuff. But I built this little building for the uh, the train station. Added some rocks and palm trees. Uh, added a bathroom and a restaurant and a drink stall and a janitor, a couple janitors and a mechanic. Just some stuff that would actually help progress the game a little bit, um, and stuff that you probably don't really care about. But, so, what we have here, now with all this scenery and stuff, you can see I'm at 73%, which I'm, I'm pretty happy with. It's in the green, and people are liking the ride quite a bit. Uh, I only have about 200 guests in the park. So the ride isn't exactly like blowing up or anything, but it's it's a nice steady little flow. Um, where is it? My prestige is 699, I believe, uh, in the last video. Uh, the coaster is right around 500. So it went up almost 200 just by adding the scenery and building a station around it and adding like some restaurants and stuff around it. So it really helped it. There's not a lot of litter around this park. There's like... Okay, on the back side. Maybe I should add a couple trash cans on the back side here. Uh, where is the scenery? Bins. Let's just, let's just put a couple of these down here. Boom. And boom. There. Alright. So. And we'll put some right in the middle too. Okay, good enough. Good enough. Um, I used to work at Walt Disney World. And Disney had this, like, rule where, uh, regardless of where you're standing, anywhere in any of the theme parks, regardless of where you're standing, there should not be a trash can more than 10 feet away from you. Uh, so I kind of like to build my parks with a similar mindset. I haven't really gone through and added all the bins yet, but I will eventually. And I will try typically at every intersection, every corner... Uh, before every ride's queue, at the exit of every ride's queue, um, I need to add some here at the restaurants, that sort of thing. So what are we doing today, now that I've got the long-winded intro and random bin trash can talk out of the way? Uh, well, we're going to start with just like another small, uh, not another, but we're going to build a small flat ride here. Um, just something that will bring more people to this island and then after that I think I'm going to go ahead and build another island over here uh, and that'll be today's video possibly do something on that island over there I don't know but uh, I'd like to have about two or three rides per island I think that'd be fun now do they, they don't have like the typical pirate ship ride in this game do they the 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 pirate ship swing back and forth they, they don't do they What's this? Gears of Fear? I don't even know what that is. Um, they don't have a lot of the... Oh, 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 there it is. There's the pirate ship. Okay, I knew they had to have it. Alright, so we'll just go ahead and put this guy... Honestly, it'd be kind of cool to have a... Whoops, I don't know why that pulled up. I hope that doesn't interfere with the recording. I'd like to have this guy, like over the water. That'd be really cool, right? Wouldn't it? I don't know if I should do that, because the path's kind of far away. And I'd like to try to keep things contained onto the islands. Hmm. Screw it. We'll try it. We'll give it a try. Why not? We'll go ahead and pop this guy right there. That seems like a pretty good spot. Alright, and then place the entrance. Entrance and exit are going to have to be, like, side by side on this front section right here. Boom. Place exit. And boom. Alright. So now what we'll have to do is we'll have to take this path. And let's make it a little wider. Because four meters isn't wide enough. I think this is six. I said six, not seven. Alright. So we'll, we'll kind of extend this path out this way. 
like that. There we go. So we'll do that. And that will allow for me to be able to build the queue. For this, I want to do wood. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. So we'll have the, the queue kind of come down. And then, because this island's going to get a lot busier now with a second ride, I'll make the queue decently long. Because I have a feeling people are going to want to ride this. Something like that. There we go. That works. And then, just have a regular path. Oh, what's the rustic? Oh, it changes the, the thing of the whole... Okay. I think maybe... Maybe the cobblestone. That looks pretty good. So we'll have the cobblestone. And we don't need it six meters wide. We'll knock it down to four. And this can just go straight down. Into the... There we go. Into the path like that. And there's absolutely... There's absolutely no decorations going on here. So we got to change that. Uh, so first and foremost, let's, let's open the ride so people can start coming to it. There we go. I kind of like the colors. It kind of matches everything else. It's like, the game knows. The game knows. So, we'll go ahead and start adding just a little bit of scenery here to help. Um, let's, let's see if, pull up palm trees. And we'll get some palm trees going on around the queue. I like the banana palm, that's kind of cool. Add that guy there, like that. Have a couple of these weirder guys over here. Something like that. We'll have a couple of these palm trees kind of like reaching over the water. At different angles. There we go. Like that there. That looks pretty good. And then there is something else. Uh, who is it under? I'll get rid of that because I don't. I don't need that anymore. Uh, I think it's under props. Chest. Ah, here we go. Wow, a golden treasure chest. That really uh, boosts up the prestige and the. Let's make this like a nice little area over here. So I have like a golden treasure chest. And have an anchor here. And why not have like a little campsite here? Like maybe maybe they're waiting to board or something. They're just kinda chilling out there. I don't know. I don't know. They're pirates. I'm not a pirate. Uh, and... Hmm. A nautical archway. That's kind of cool. Can I just have like this over this whole area here? I think I can. No. Oh wait, yeah, like that. Look at that! That's kind of cool. I like how it kind of goes through the trees there. I can I can live with that. I can live with that for sure. How close to so I can't put Well the music there is really epic. Let's put some netting over here. On the coast like that. I don't really know which direction is proper direction. I'll just kinda have it like that. What else can we do? <laughs> Have a broken ship, like, kind of sticking out of the water, maybe? Have it, like, tilting up out of the water. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Have the back end. I want the back end. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, no. I don't- I didn't want them con combined. Demolish. There we go. Okay. Uh, I want the back end. Kind of sticking up out of the water over here. That's kind of cool. Something like that. And then we'll tilt it like that. There. Well, this needs to move now. Uh, where's the move? There we go. Look at that. It's like there was a boat there that crashed and now they replaced it with this one. <laughs> That's kind of neat. And then for nighttime, you need some lights for the nighttime. So, uh, build custom. And I think it's decorations. I don't want a floodlight necessarily, but like just like a regular light will work. And I don't, I don't need it to align to surface. Can I, can I not place these lights on this? Oh, okay, I can't. Interesting. I was, th I was under the assumption that you could place lights as long as they weren't interfering with the ride itself, but I guess not. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll actually use floodlights then, and we'll use these pirate ship pieces as little little stands. So we'll align them to surface now, and we'll have one on each side lighting up like that. But I, oh, I, I see the problem. I need to move this. This needs to be over a little bit more behind. There we go. Like that. That's good. And we'll move this. Right there. Okay, that works. And now we'll change the light of this. We'll change the light to this to like like a cool dark red or something. That'll, that'll look good at night, I think. And we'll go ahead and just duplicate it for this side. We'll have it down in here. Like that. Alright, so we'll, let's turn it to night and see how those look. Do do do. Nighttime. Set lighting to 10 p.m. at night. Oh, yeah, look at that. That is cool. That is really. That is really neat. Oh, that is super neat. I like that. I like that a lot. That's perfect. And you can kind of see over here, too. This looks kind of nice um, at night as well. What is the... I haven't done a whole lot here, but I feel like the prestige... Look at that. The scenery is already at almost 70%. That gold chest I hear does crazy, crazy things. The prestige is still a little low. What uh, This panel of a value ride to a guest. Okay, well, let's also lower the price because this is free after all. I have unlimited money, so I might as well lower it down to like a dollar because why the fuck not? There we go. Is anything for this ride? I don't know. If, I don't even know how much is ten dollars. Oh, please. It doesn't need to be ten dollars. Let's just lower that way down. Five dollars. There we go. I thought it was a good value before. Oh, what do they think now? Let's go ahead and make it daylight here. And let's set up another island. Um, I think I want this one like kind of like right here-ish. Well, actually, what would be kind of cool is to have them... Oh, yes, like a hub. And then have like a, the pathway kind of circling through like that. Yes, that's what I'll do. So I'll have one here. And then I'll have another one here, and like another one here, and then like another one here, and then like another one here. So we'll we'll go ahead and build one on this side. Let's get the terrain tool. Let's go ahead and now the way I do this is probably gonna aggravate some people, but I don't really care. So I just kind of pull it up to where I can kind of kind of see it about like that, maybe a little more. There we go. And what I do then is I take flatten to foundation. 
And boom, just like that. Let's turn up the intensity though. It does not need to be that. There we go. Just kind of like that. I want it to be decently large. Let's go ahead and increase the size of it. Something like that. It's a little bigger than the other one, but that's fine. Um, uh, there we go. And then let's go ahead and paint this one. Or actually, let's smooth it first. Because I forgot to do that before. And let's turn down the intensity of it. Look at that. There we go. Get rid of some of these rough edges. Also, kind of makes the island a little smaller, so it's not quite so. Actually, you know, those islands are roughly the same size. That's pretty good. They're just shaped differently. Then let's go ahead. Go ahead and paint this. Turn it down to about 10 meters. And let's just go around the edge like this. Something like that. There we go. And now, what will I put on this island? Uh, I hate to break it to you, but yes, probably yet another roller coaster. Or maybe, maybe this will be a good place for a log flume, so that way we break it up a little bit. Yeah, so I'll probably do a log flume, and then I could have a river rapids on this island here. Then the farther back islands, I could have bigger, more intense and elaborate roller coasters than just this little guy over here. That's the, that's that's yeah that's gonna work out pretty well. Um, let's just go ahead. I mean, I might as well since I'm thinking about it. Might as well make the path here. This was six meters, so that's length. I want six meters. There we go. I want it to be roughly there. And perfect. There we go. Look at that. That looks that looks cool. That looks good. We're starting to get multiple islands and it's coming together. But unfortunately that's about all the time that I have this time around. Uh, I know it's, it was a little bit shorter than last time, but next time I promise it'll be a little bit longer and more elaborate. Uh, like I said, I'm probably going to build the log flume on this island here. Uh, and I'll make it pretty cool. I'll try to keep it close to the water here so that way it looks, it gives the illusion that you're actually on like the big lake instead of on a track. It'd be kind of cool. And have you sail through like more broken pirate ships and stuff like that. It'd be a lot of fun. I look forward, I'm, I'm looking forward to doing that. Still gotta address this entrance. I'm not liking it. But these rides are doing pretty well. So that's good. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to click that thumbs up button and subscribe to stay up to date with my latest videos and reviews and of course more installments of Planet Coaster, one of my favorite games. So, alright, well, have a good one guys and I'll see you next time.